Welcome to 10 minute Wing Chun workout and exercises. In this workout, you're gonna learn pivoting moves that exercise your core, your abs, and your back. And also you're gonna learn how to combine that with Wing Chun techniques so that you can add power to all your punches and attacks, and even defense too. So let's get started. If you wanna get stronger, you wanna keep doing these Wing Chun workouts, make sure you subscribe and also comment and let me know what you else what you wanna learn, what else you wanna see in this channel, and like and tell your friends. So get ready for the workout. Let's start together like this, standing straight, hands to your side, feet together, drop about an inch, pull your fist to the chest, and pull your elbows back and downwards. Open up your toes, open up your feet, and now we're in a A stance position. And now what you want to do is to learn how to pivot. Notice that my feet right now are pointing into a triangle like this, pointing forwards and inwards. So all I want to do is to pivot one foot, let's start with the left foot, and then pivot it so that it points in the same direction. Let's call it 45 degrees. So point, both feet are pointing 45 degrees. Keep your hands um, pulled back like this on your chest, at the chest level. Then when you pivot, you're gonna move one foot inwards, pointing in again, and then now you move the other foot, point 45 degrees. And now your weight is on uh, about 70% or 60% on this leg, and about 40% on the front leg. And by the way, the pivot point is your heel. So you don't wanna be pivoting on your toe. This is pivoting on your toe. This is pivoting in the middle of the feet. This is pivoting on the heel. So the toes are moving back and forth like a windshield wiper. What you don't wanna do is to lift your feet like this. Don't do that. Now I'll try to do it at the same time. So I'm pivoting, now I'm uh, facing 45. Pivot here, facing 45. Pivot here, facing 45. Now what you wanna do is to put your hands over top of each other like a rectangle. One hand will go on top of each other, overlapping like this, and just put it at chest level. And now what you wanna do is when you pivot, turn all the way to the right or to the left. Keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. One, a little bit faster, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you got your pivoting down, now we're gonna add some techniques into your pivoting. So now we're gonna punch Wu Sao with a hit. So Wu Sao punch. Wu Sao is in the middle, put a palm or spade hand right in front of your chest, about a hand's width in front of your chest. And then you punch in the center. So if you do Wu Sao and punch square forward, it's gonna look like this. But now when you add that pivot, we're going to pivot like this. So what we're gonna do, start with the hands together like this and punch. Wu Sao just stays in position and the punch comes out. And then now you're in a pivoted position and punch out to the center. To demonstrate how this works, is he punches in, this hand stays in the middle, and this hand punches out to the target, which is the jaw of your opponent. When the other punch comes in, I pivot, this hand is Wu Sao, and the punch comes out this way. Now, if I'm going to be straight and I do Wu Sao and punch, see, I can't really reach him because I'm squared to him. So when I just pivot, see, now I can reach him because now my pivoting throws my shoulder forward well, this is still guarding against the punch, and now I can reach him. Same on the other side. If I just go here, Wu Sao and punch, I can't really quite reach him, but when I just turn a bit, see, now I can reach him. I'm guarded against this punch. I protected myself, and I attack at the same time. So let's practice this together. We're just gonna practice first with just one side. So stand in a straight position, put your hands together like this and then we're just gonna pivot one side and back to the middle. Now when you do pivot, I want you to do the punch, back to the middle. Like this, one, back to the middle. Going left and right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice that when I'm pivoting, my weight is a little bit more on the back foot. Two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. So now that you learned the pivoting, we're gonna get into the Wing Chun techniques. But before we get to that, make sure you go to my new webinar, register for my free event. It's called Chi Life Mastery. Go to chilifemastery.com. You learn how to actualize your full potential, just like Bruce Lee, become stronger in the inside and on the outside, and then be able to have more success in your life, be healthier and happier. So make sure you check it out right now. Go to chilifemastery.com. Tan so and hit. So this one, the application is very simple. Comes in for a hook. I go this, right? Do another hook. And then I turn into the hook. And then I also punch at the same time. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay? So when you practice this just by yourself, thanks, Will. This is the technique without pivoting. This is the technique with pivoting. So we can go like this. Now I'm going to combine both of them. So I'm going to pivot one direction, punch in the middle. Tanso at 10 o'clock, pivot the other direction, punch in the middle, Tanso at 2 o'clock. Okay? So we alternate, ready? Alternate side to side. Let's do it slow at first. And don't look at the open hand, look at where you're punching. A little bit faster now. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Gone and hit. Gan, da. This is the gan sao. This is the da. Okay, we're gonna combine it at the same time. We did it at the other video with the simultaneous attack and defense training. But now, we're gonna add the pivot to it. So this is what it looks like. If you wanna learn how to do this, watch the other video in the description. So now when we add the pivot, what we do is we go into pivot and gan like this. Pivot, gan like this. So that's the gan part. Combine it with the hit, same as before. You gun and then hit, gun and hit in the middle, like this. On the other side, this way. How you use this is against uh, lower hooks to the, to the body, right? I can block like this and hit here, right? Block like this and hit here, block like this and hit. Like that, like this, like that, okay? So what the pivoting does is it gives you a little bit more power and a little bit more reach. Now that you can do one side, we're gonna do the alternating. So alternating left and right. Okay, follow me like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, a little bit faster. All right, good job. Are you ready for the next exercise? This is a really cool one. It's called Gan Zam Sao, which means to separate, which is Gan, and Zam, which is to chop. So you're separating and chopping at the same time. Well, let's say he, he comes in, and then I block him this way. Like ideally, I want to block him on the outside, but let's say he's punching on this way, and then I block him on the other side, then I'm going to basically separate, or Gan Sao, and Zam. So jam is the chop, it's come this way. So if he punches this one, same thing. If I end up like this, I'm gonna gone and then jam like that. So if you want to train with a partner, you can do that. If you catch him on the outside of the punch, that's another way to do it. Let's say he punches, catch it on the outside of the punch, you can basically gone and open it up and then do a jam style here, right? So if I'm on the out, in, outside, I catch it on the outside and then punch. Catch him on the outside. And punch. So just the hand motion, we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I'm gonna bring my hand up before I go down. Bring my hand up before I go down. So to show this more simply, I'm just gonna use one hand. So go chop, down, up, rotate, chop, down, up. You do both hands, up, and then up, like that. Okay, that's how it looks like. Now we're gonna combine it with the pivoting. Let's just do one side for now. So we're gonna bring our hand up, chop, back to center, chop, back to center. 
Now let's try this side, up. Okay, pivot, cancel, pivot, cancel. So this rotation of the forearm is what helps to redirect the energy of the attack. At the same time, you can use it as an attack. Okay, so you combine them together. Let's do it together, nice and slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit faster. All right, good job. You completed the Wing Chun workout with pivoting and double hand techniques. So make sure you bookmark this lesson and come back regularly so that you can master your skills and get better and better every day at Wing Chun.